Mwah. How's it going, people? The camera's not working. Wait, the camera's not working. God damn it, wait. All right, losers. It's time for parties of the losers. <laughs> I am so excited for this. Holy crap. This is like, what, we doing the first story that I'm going to be getting into? And it's called Parties of the Losers. And I'm a loser. This is, this is just perfect. There are 13 songs, and Moz has also sent me an um, info document on it. So what we're first going to do, we'll go through the songs, we'll try and understand the story, and then we will go through the info doc and understand the story. I think that sounds like a good idea. You're going to be so lost, let's go. What's up, buddy? Not much. Just about to get into some Parties of the Losers. A story of music. It's going to be cool. Oh my god, that gave me such a fright. Thank you. Thank you for the 20 bits. <laughs> German zombie hunter. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I'm low. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited. This is my first, basically, story. My first story. Vocaloid story. Storyline? Universe? I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so this must be the group. Wait, what? <laughs> so, one of them... This is a monster? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. The monster escaped a facility. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, was that guy counting money? Was that guy counting money? So he sold them out? Yeah, he must have sold them out. Oh my god. Wait, wait, what? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what the f- Okay, this one, the song was really nice. It was a good song. So this is a, they're in like a Slavic country, a monster escapes in the party, and this is the five of them, but we mainly only saw these three. This person has tattoos like a monster. So he, is he foreshadowed to become a monster? Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> this, is, this is all from assumptions right now. And so the monster was comforting him after he was like having a panic attack, right? Yeah. And he, he's texting the authorities. Okay, they come. She kills a lot of them, but gets captured. And she's in shock. He betrayed, so he betrayed them. Ooh, this is interesting, guys. Okay, I think I kind of got this right. Oh my god, let's get into the second one. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this is so cool. Oh my god, such a different sound. Ooh. False disposition. <laughs> so she... She's the false disposition. Okay. So she saw the guy with another person and now she's wanting to change? So she can become a party person? What the? Wait. Oh. Okay, so that, wait. Oh my god. Okay, that was, that was another good one. Okay, so this was mainly, like, showing how she became, like, this type of person? I'm, I'm guessing? He is not going to save her. Yet. Oh my god, do we get lore? I just saw 29 bodies of a little how times trip, but yeah, what the hell? They're not pleased with how the audio came out, but the song sounded good though. It sounded good. There's so much context to, to be had. Almost might be good for you to read alongside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're actually So we got the <laughs> Oh my god. There is a lot. I should probably change this to to gameplay for this so you guys can see it better. The following setup was hugely inspired, or should I say almost completely based on the plot of the movie Stalker. 
Okay, so the story takes place in an Eastern European city situated very close to the Anomalous Zone, which appeared as a result of a catastrophic event 50 or so years before the beginning of the narrative. Oh, okay. It's a forbidden territory about the size of a small country, and any unsolicited breach of the border is punished by death, or at the very least, extensive jail time. Now, I'm not sure if I... Do I want to read all the characters until after... Okay, and then I can read these two. I'll read all the character descriptions maybe at the end and try and understand. And then we'll read, so we'll read Parties of the Losers and then we'll read False Disposition. Parties of the Losers takes place during the very end of summer. On one of his nightly outings with the gang, Yura no notices a commotion. Some young girl spilled her drink on a small gang leader. For a brief moment, Yura is startled by the strange look in the kid's eyes. So I was kind of right about about that so sir surge surgy sir i don't hmm. yeah we'll go over the character names yeah <laughs> okay so let's go through the characters <laughs> yuri his birthday november 12th has anyone got the same birthday as me march 30th may 1st june 5th december 21st february 19th july 20th no no one's got my birthday and then sanya no good kids oh Sweet. Okay, we got a, a a few more to go through. This is this is actually very interesting. So Sergi, occupation former stalker, now helps with identifying reselling anomalous objects, passing specific orders to other stalkers, and planning routes through the zone. Oh, am I saying the name right? Sir Sir Sergi Sergi Sergey. Ah, Sergey. 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 Sergey? <laughs> it is said as Sergey. Oh, okay. So he's in a romantic relationship with Oh yeah. Now it's Katya. Age 13. Since all the extra flesh she grows has to be removed manually. Oh! Ugh. Ooh! Ooh! Oh man, I meant. Ugh! 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 I meant it. Oh! No, thank you! Not cat, it's more like Katya. Oh, caught ya. Oh, because it's all um, Slavic. Now, do I read this one? Because we haven't met these people yet. We haven't met these people yet. So when we meet these people, we'll read about them. Uh, we've got to read about false disposition right now. Okay, so false disposition. This is the song we just reacted to about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> the present part takes place around two weeks after the incident. Yoda is about to leave on his first mission to the zone when he is stopped by Sanya, which was the complete opposite of her own sheltered life. She eventually masters up the courage to ask him to take her to a party, to which he reluctantly agrees. Yeah, okay, so I got that. Wow, okay, so we have read everything that we have needed to read so far. You think it's fun that Vocaloid gives people a way to make songs about the characters and stories easier? Yeah, it's actually really cool. I am legitimately loving this so much. Okay, let's do this. Punch it, punk! Oh! Okay, so Sergei's been beaten up. Oh, now we need to read all the other characters. <laughs> God damn it. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Wait. <laughs> wait what huh <laughs> okay wait what oh my god there was so much there was so much info it's like i need a documentary okay so this is this must be another group this must be another group okay so so this is one group here and then this is another group here and then i guess they're going to okay so okay that makes a lot more sense i legitimately thought this guy was um Sergey, but no, no, different people, different people. Okay, I, 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 I like this dude, <laughs> Dim Dimitri. He just looks so cool. Okay, so that was his powers, uh, being able to do that, and she is so calm. So let's get into the characters. Let's do that. Being born into a poor family 
Anya feels like she has very little opportunities to get ahead in life. However, she refuses to accept that notion and wants to go against society's pressure. Though her ideas of what the pressure is and how to fight it are very vague. She hates her brother's passive... What the fuck is that word? What the hell does that mean? Engage in the pursuit of pleasure. Oh, <laughs> you learn something new every day. And today it was hedonistic. How do you actually pronounce it? Did I say it right? Hedonistic. Oh. Hedonistic. Hedonistic. Learning with Logan, educational content. Yo, we, we out here. Learning. Okay, so now we're up to Oya. Not much is known about her. Oya works a day job at an office and lives alone. She sometimes gives Yoda a lift and delivers some additional study materials from Sergei, whom she's in a relationship with. Ooh. Now it's up to Dimitri. Dimitri is a mutant on the run. His power is telekinesis. He can pick up practically anything, though the more heavy the object, the more effort he has to exert. Moving objects out of his line of sight is possible, but he needs to know their location prior to picking them up. Yeah, I see. Oh my God, there's so much to read. Oh, uh, I knew what I was getting in, but I didn't know what I was getting in. There's so much to read and I haven't been playing music in the background. So you've just been hearing my voice and it's very, I feel sorry for you guys. So we need to watch, uh, watch read, and punch it, kid. And, oh my god, I can't read. How did I see and punch it and read that as kid? How did I read punk as kid? Anya is the little sister of Yoda. I think they did get mentioned, didn't it? Anya, Anya, Anya. Ah, yeah, there we go. It was mentioned up here. Okay, punch it, punk. And parties of losers take place during roughly the same time frame. Anya, okay, so it is two different stories happening at the same time. Keyword being trying, since Anya is the most indiscreet person to ever grace planet Earth. Aw, cute. Runs away from home, but pretty much everyone knows that she goes to hang out at Olya's place for a few days before coming back to her family. Gotcha. Oh no, this is still so much to me. Upon coming home, she shows the picture of the jacket to Dimitri, which causes an immediate emotional reaction from him and basically confirms Oya's suspicion that the boy is at the very least connected to Katya. Weaver left distress about what happened to Kite. How do I read K as Key and T as Tay? Ooh, this sounds cool! Oh my god, yes, let's go! Official guide to coolness? Okay, I need this. Oh! Okay, so Dimitri freed her. Oh! My god. And he's got a headache because he. Okay. Oh, they steal those jackets! <laughs> and this is how. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. I didn't want to think about it. What? Well, ah! Sonya's brother, that big guy. He may look scary, but I'm sure I can get. Ah! No! Let me fucking read! <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, really. Listen, you don't have to go out of your way, okay? And this is just him. Don't want to talk about it, do you? Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. No, don't play the next song. I got stuff to read and stuff to think about. So basically, it's her being captured and she's having flashbacks. Um, let me, let me go. So she's being captured, she's having flashbacks of um, her with y uh, Yuri. And basically, he's gonna, s well, we already know he's gonna save her from the text, but she, she she thinks that she he doesn't like her. Um, let's just get into the law. Let's get into it. Due to the nature of Dimitri's powers, he is both very useful and extremely difficult to contain. Therefore, rather than being forcibly restricted, he was given the best possible treatment a mutant could hope for. Good living quarters, actual clothes, respect from the staff, etc. From the moment he was taken into the facility, he was told that the way people from the outside world treat mutants, his life, if he was ever to escape, would become far less comfortable. Oh, now we get music going. I'm bad at this. No particularly inhumane experiments were held on him, but he was regularly used as a valuable assistant in testing other 
mutant's abilities. One of those mutants was KT. You see. Most of what's happened there, I didn't realize that he um, was getting treated really good. I, I, I didn't really click that from, from the song. So KT is very excited about meeting new people and living her life to the fullest. Yoda feels like the only person who could help at this point would be Sergei. Okay. KT understands that in the end, things like her are meant to be contained. She accepts defeat. Oh. Okay, so let's get into the next song. Oh my God, my throat is dying from reading so much. I got this though. Do I? We got Moors out here barking for the mill. Must be good. Okay, so we're back to Oya. Oh, yeah? Okay, Sergey. Yoda. So they're gonna be going into the zone. And they're gonna find the mill. Oh, the video! Shit! Shit! I'm a streamer! <laughs> Let's go back to the start. Oh, I would have, I uh, legitimately, I would have gone through that whole song without you guys seeing it if I decided to not read chat. <laughs> okay, so let's get, uh, let's get into the song for the first time, everybody. Professional streamer right here. Okay, so we got Olya, Sergey, whoa, and Yuri. I think they're going into the zone. Woo! Okay, so this is Sergey just explaining everything. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Hayes thing is above. Oh my god, this sounds so good, this song. Okay. Oh my god. You know, I'll explain it after the music video is done. Oh, so that must be someone that passed away. They've been so Sergey and Oya's been doing this, and that guy over here passed away. Oh, then how? Oh my God, how is she even alive? Well, they like to call it intelligence, careful planning. Though really, all of those are just pretty ways of saying. She lucks out. Whoa! A bit of sexism in there. Oh my fucking god, this, the sound of the song is so good. Oh my god. Someone appeared. Oh my god. Yuri kill oh my god Uh oh Oh my god What the fuck No Oh wait this is a new song This is a new song This is not <laughs> Nikita shows up says something vaguely sexist dies instantly So this shot here I wanted to quickly talk about let's go into beep Okay so Yuri is nervous Sergey is calm, but Oya is so determined. And since he's nervous, he shot the person. That is not Sergey, but N Nikita. What the fuck is happening? Who's Nikita? I thought that was Sergey. Who's, who's Nikita? New character appears, but new character is not in this. Nikita dies. Okay. So Nikita, it was Nikita taking them through the thing? Was it Nikita taking them through? And, and there was no Sergey. Is that, is that it? I'm so lost and confused. Okay, let's just read it. 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 Just read it. Okay. Ah. Oh. Nikita's dislike of her grew even more potent after Sergey failed to rescue his brother from the great, oh, from the, <laughs> from the meat grinder. Jesus. Sergey was already ridden with guilt after losing a friend and pursuing Pressuring him about Oya oh, oh would neither bring the brother back nor change the attitude towards her. Oh, there's even more! <laughs> I had to scroll down, didn't I? When retrieving the battery, Yura finds a little growing trinket. After Oya and Nikita assesses that it should be harmless, 
though of little value, he happily collects it. Throughout the trip, Olya is mostly lost in thought. She went into stalking to try and add some thrill and purpose to her life, but as magical and exciting as it was in the beginning, even with all of the ugly aspects of that job, even that eventually devolved into something, some, something routine and meaningless. Oh my god! Wow, that was insane to read. And now we're up to in strike three. I did not forget. <laughs> okay, a phone call. Sergey is answering. Yes, I knew. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, that, not okay. Sorry, the baby looks like Finn from Adventure Time. <laughs> the, the baby just looks like I'm guessing that's Sergey and that's Sergey's parents. And then this is Sergey going to see them. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! I love the. Oh! I love the music video. Okay, so. Whoa. Oh my god. Are they going to. Oh my god. Are they going to jailbreak them? Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, so Yuri managed to get out from the looks of it. And okay. Oh, oh, shut up. Oh. Oh. Oh, there was so there was so much to intake for that. <laughs> Pardon me. Wow, this is intense. This entire, this entire story is so intense and so thrilling. I am so addicted to it. I'm so, I'm, I'm so into it, guys. This is so good. It's actually great. I reckon we, we might have a shot at getting through a lot of this. I can't wait to get to comfort zone, by the way. I love comfort zone so much, so I can't wait for that. Okay, so let's uh read, let's read it. Sergei gets a phone call from the police station where. Olga and Yoda have been escorted to after the events of the mill. He arrives to learn what's happened and talks to both of them. At that point, the two have already been interrogated. To his dismay, Olya decides to take the blame for shooting one of the guards, both because she doesn't want the boy's life ruined and because concerning her position, she may be let off a bit easier than some unknown teenager. Sergei won't be working with Yoda anymore. He doesn't want him anywhere near his house and especially nowhere near Sanya. They are done. Dunzo, mate. They are Dunzo. Fuck, Dunzo. I just want to get straight into the next song. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, Sonya's on her phone. Oh, I like the the half tones. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he's trying to explain his story to um, Sonya. Oh, so he sees Oya as like a goddess for saving him, kind of? Okay, so that's- Oh! He's meeting Dimitri and, um, Anya. Whoa. He knows. He knows Dimitri's- No. Oh my god, he knows. Oh wait, yeah, they're sister. Brother and sister. That's right. Okay. So Yuri has realized that his sister is hanging out with Dimitri. Wait, what's that box? Okay. Oh. 
Oh my god, that's oh my god, that looks so good. So I'm 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 assuming oh my god. Let's just get get into reading it. The song begins with Yoda sneaking sneaking into Sonya's room. He wants to explain his side of the story and retrieve his jacket. Ah, okay. As well as simply see her before cutting off all of their contact proper. Okay, so I was right about how he wanted to explain his side of the story. The artifact he'd found back at him. The cube doesn't even glow when outside the zone, so it's, it's valuable as a piece of plastic. Because we, we found out that um, Sonya is a mutant with the alb alb albinism that's what they said right uh on the character description um after the first chorus we're shown in a shown a different day with yoda doing community service he encounters anya and uh D dima katie's appearances matching up turn his suspicion to a certainty the two had just to be con oh yeah oh yeah this is getting good oh, i i i um i think that was mentioned in the song the runaway home narrative. I think it was mentioned in the song. Oh, damn! I am loving this oh so much. This is great. This is so goddamn good. Wow. Should we just get straight into the next song? Man, this is a good story. We need. I need to. I now need, need to understand the comfort zone with all the the, the the drugs. Like, is it just? A, I, I need to understand. Is the drugs at the facility? I don't know. I need to find out. So let's continue on. Let's continue on. And just. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. This song. Yeah, I'm here for it. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Whoa. That was a that was a short song. The text for this song is long because it's more of a character focused song than the story. Top ten songs to abandon your pregnant girlfriend to. <laughs> Jesus. So this is about Nikita. <laughs> okay. Oh Jesus. It sounded so cool though. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's just quickly read um what they what they gotta say message lost message loss is less story driven and more of a character piece because of that di the direct explanation will be done on a lyric to lyric basis the song itself is sung by nikita's perspective go nikita you asshole now it's time for my song that i love so much oh i'm ready for my ears to be tickled are you guys ready for your ears to be tickled from the bass that happens around this part comfort zone comfort zone Ugh. Comfort zone. Oh my fucking god. It is. This is people from the facility. That was Dimitri before. This is all the other people. Oh my god. Drama queen. Oh wait. Are these like people's characters that they made for this music video? No way. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh my god, so this is about Dimitri, how he sees everyone else as like a lower being as him. KT. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is, oh my god, this is what his brain's doing. That's what his brain feels like after he has to use his powers. Oh my god. She wanted Dimitri to be free and she was happy when he escaped. This is... Oh my god, the sound... Yeah. The sound of the song is so good. Oh my god. It was such a good song. Wow, okay. We already knew that song was gonna be good. But now that I know the lore behind it, holy crap, hold my god. Wait, I did not read all this stuff from, um, <laughs> yeah, for, from Message Loss. I thought it was just that part. No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> but now that I know the lore behind, um, oh, b behind Comfort Zone, it's so much cooler just seeing the connections and stuff. 
get homeworked. Oh, I gotta read all this stuff. Maybe I'll read this stuff in the video. Dr. Temnova. I'm gonna read it like this so my throat doesn't hurt. The immense potential the subject possesses is unlike any other anomaly she's managed before. So the subject has a good couple of hours to think. Ultimately, DT-001319 believes Dr. Timnova is very, very proud of him. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No! No! There's so much more to read! No! No! Oh no, just kidding. Just kidding. This is the next song, Like a Dog. Phew! Oh man, I thought there was a lot more. So, Timnova did want, um... Dimitri to escape. Fascinating. Fantastic. Wow. Fantastic baby dance. Woohoo! Does anyone get that reference? Does anyone get that reference? Does anyone get that reference? Wow. wow. Fantastic, Fantastic baby. baby dance. Anyways, that's the reference of today. <laughs> Let's get into Like a Dog. Gangster. Okay, is this Dr. Tim Nova again with Dimitri? It has to be. Oh, I like this song. Ooh. This song is really, really good. I love how the text has the effect of um, exclusion effect. Oh shit! Oh my god, okay. So, this is essentially saying she wants Dimitri to be free and he's, he, he doesn't have emotions and she knows that Dimitri's gonna come back because he's he won't fit in with society. That's basically what the song's about. Wow, fantastic, baby. Okay, <laughs> that, that song was actually really nice. I actually really like that song. That was a really good song. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, wow. Fantastic, baby. <laughs> let's go, let's go read what it says for like a dog. You should never ask a woman her age. For instance, Dr. Timnova is only about 50 years older than she appears. Wait, what? Is that all we get? Is that all? Is that all we get? Oh, I like that. Why can't they all be like two, two sentences? Oh, you f this person thinks Dr. Timnova is both immortal at, or at least ages slowly and is directly responsible for the zone. Oh. Also, just for context, the documents say... Oh my god, yeah, Dr. Tenova is only about 50 years older than she appears. And and the, and the zone happened, what, 80 years ago? That's what the law said, right? Wait, whoa, mindfuck, 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 whoa, mindfuck. 80? 80? 80? Something? Number? Number? Numbers? 50 or so years before, oh, oh my god, 50, yeah. 50 or so years before the beginning of the narrative. So that, whoa, oh my god. Whoa, reading YouTube comments can be a good idea sometimes. Wait, so did she stop aging? I'm assuming, because that's what the, 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 that's what the law said. You should never ask a woman her age. For instance, Dr. Timnova is only about, only about 50 years older than she appears. So she must have stopped. Yeah, shit, that's awesome. Or she is aging very, very slowly. Holy shit, this is cool. This is cool. This is, this is, this is cool. Okay, next song. Okay, don't convince me. All right, don't convince me. This has got such a cool PV, says Moors. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right, whoa, holy, I'm hoping like they all work together at some point, you know? Oh my god, wait, is she pulling a knife? Wait, they all got knives. Oh my god, he's fighting Yuri. Dimitri and Yuri are fighting. Oh my god. Is... Whoa. And sh Wait. Oh. She's going back to her old life? 
Oh my god. Hey, ho, no, 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 let me, let me register what I just experienced. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, wow, that was an insane PV. They're literally just talking. Thanks, Fury. What do you say in this? Do you say the same thing? No, you say quite a bit more. You say quite a lot more. Oh, fudge. Wow, that was an amazing, dude, like the, it was just so, it was so fast and so many cool cuts and like so many cool effects and, and like the, 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 the character's emotions, like. Oh my God. Okay. So let's read this in Mickey Mouse's voice. Ho ho, Sonya has a suspicion about the nature of the cube. Yoda had brought her. She sneaks into Sir Sergei's artifact filled office to put her theory to the test. And the guess is confirmed. The cube reacts to anomalies by glowing. Ho ho, there's evidence against Anya's boyfriend. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Why can't you take it seriously? Yoda comes up with a plan of how they could get Dimitri to help rescue KT. Sonya dislikes the idea for several reasons. Why are we Mickey Mouse? Why not? It relies on assumption. It's extremely risky, and even if it's all bluff, Yoda assures her that's the case. She sees the method as immoral. He gave her a chance at freedom on a whim, no less, and the girl blew it. He is under no obligation to throw everything away for the sake of someone that he barely knew. Oh, wow. Dimitri doesn't have much emotions. We kind of know that already from the songs. So, damn. Harsh. Disappointed with Dimitri's lack of... Another word. To search. Altru altruism? Altruism. Altruism. Disinterested and selfless concern for the well-being of others. Okay. In a jacket pocket, he's been on a recorded call with Sonya the entire time. If he is harmed, she will still have the evidence on Dimitri in audio form. Oh! I thought she was just trying to call him. And like they, he wasn't picking up. Oh my god. I didn't realise the phone call was actually going. Holy shit. But the mutant isn't the one who will suffer the most in, in case the call rec recording gets leaked. After all, he can disappear, skip town, slip through the cracks. Olya, however, can't. And she'll get hit much harder, especially in her current situation. Yoda's reasoning as his follows. If KT might have been some random girl Dimitri had less than a day's worth of contact with, Olya would have a lot more personal significance to him, given she was the one to give him shelter for the past couple of weeks. Dimitri throws Yoda at the wall. Enraged, Yoda's hands bent behind his back and the phone shatters on the ground. Dimitri wants to kill Yoda then and there. At least he believes a couple of broken bones or a small organ rupture is in order. But he is stopped by Anya. Ooh! I, can, I, I was able to see this altercation, alteration, happening in the music video, but actually reading it, Oh man! Yoda is relieved to not have gone to meet Dimitri one on one. In spite of all their bickering, Anya was very unlikely to let her brother get murdered in front of her. Yet no matter how frustrated everyone is with what's unfolding, they are backed into a corner. Looks like the two sides will have to cooperate. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wow! There's only two more songs? Oh! Okay, let's get into it. We Well, I've already listened to this song, but I can't remember it that well. Let's uh, go to this. Okay, three, two, one, now. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so she's gone back to her normal self. So I just wanted to see what, it, um, that's it. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is KT. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so insane. She's she's trying to kill her old self. Dimitri. Ah! <laughs> 
No! I need to see! Thank you. So he knows that Yuri's in there. And he's pissed off. Uh oh. Dude. So just like that, Sergei doesn't care about his sister. And she feels a bit sad about it. She, oh my god. Okay, wow, so she doesn't feel that happy. She doesn't know she did the right choice. Wow. Holy crap. But also, can we just talk about how much, it, like, the quality has improved? Like, like, we go from that to... To like, oh my god, like, the lighting is so different. You can see that they, they got blurred around, so you can focus on, like, the main, like, focus on the parts that they want you to focus on a bit more. They got good composition. It's improved so much. You think Fairy started learning guitars for it too? Damn. Damn. Okay, so we'll read everything. And uh, oh. I think if there's one thing you guys have learned from me is I hate reading. Wow. Okay, this is such a good story. Holy shit. Okay, let's just, let's just read it. Let's just read it. But there's a thing that bothers her. From Yoda's retelling of the events, it doesn't sound like Dimitri is all too excited about their collaboration. There's blackmail, sure. But who's to say he won't kill both of them as soon as they are out of Anya's view? Kill two birds with one stone? Dispose of the people causing you trouble and don't lose your humanity in your girlfriend's eyes? Just tell her the two got shot or taken in by the facility guards. Tough luck. Whoa! Holy shit. She's going to come. Sonya is convinced that going in like this would be too dangerous, unless they actually make Dimitri understand why KT deserves to be saved in the first place. She wants to try and talk to him on a more personal level. Upon introduction, Dimitri immediately, immediately registers Sonya as an enemy. How stupid of her to have come all by herself. If he disposes of her now, he will be free of all his obligations. Quick and easy, but on closer inspection, he notices she is a mutant as well. That he was unaware of. For some reason, he hesitates. Sonya takes a chance to start talking. Whoa! Together, they start working on a plan. Turns out Dimitri had figured out what the cube might be in the meantime. Anya isn't of much help, but demands to at least be included in the meetings. I got a bad feeling that Anya's gonna die in the story. And Dimitri is gonna go ape shit. I think that's gonna happen. A week of preparation goes by fast, the day approaches, Yura and Sonya meet up on their own. Despite everything, they are trying to stay optimistic. They forget themselves, and Sergei overhears a familiar voice from his sister's room. Yeah. It's not that he wants to beat up a kid, but words don't seem to work with Yura. It's not like him to get this mad or this aggressive, yet the brat's sneering face makes Sergei thoughtlessly raise his fist for a punch. Resent him more. He resigns. Do you want holy shit and now we got execution 17 seconds that no, i just have a feeling anya's gonna die it's gonna it's gonna happen or your your anya or yuri is gonna die wait what <laughs> wait what wait what is, is this a there's a there's a 93 page prequel comic oh Oh my god! No! I need it in the stream though! No! <laughs> Parties are for losers has got an insane story. I think I think either Anya or Yuri are gonna die. I legitimately think that. I legitimately think that. That's so sad to say, but I think one of them is going going to die. Because Sonya has got mutant powers, right? So something something bad is gonna happen to Sonya. It could even be Sur Sergei. Well, someone is going to get severely hurt and her powers are going to awaken even more. Don't jinx it. I'm not jinxing it. <laughs> Something is going to happen. But I reckon um, Sergei is going to end up helping them out because he wants to um, protect his sister. So, what was your, your guys' favorite song? My one is definitely Comfort Zone. I love it so much. It's just too good. And getting to understand that it's um, basically Dimitri's time in the in the facility. Alrighty! <laughs> okay, I need to end the stream. Um, 
I, I, I cannot wait for future Peffle. Peffle? Parties are for losers stuff. I cannot wait for that. I want to... I, I, I gotta subscribe. Subscribe! Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, then definitely show some support by leaving a like and commenting down below. And don't forget to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash I'm LJL. You get to see me react to stuff live. I'm reacting to the playlist that um, the people from Team 6x111 made. And it's so good. I've been playing Project Diva and there's a lot happening. There's going to be more stories that I'm going to be reacting to. It's great. It's just great. So follow my Twitch. There's a lot of Vocaloid. Um, it's just a fun time. And yeah, thank you guys for joining in for the stream. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you also all have a great day. Keep smiling, be happy out there, and I'll see you in a couple days. So yeah, peace. Whrrr.